definition of sorry. I, I would probably call it um, the God is watching. Um, oh, and it's gonna it, if I had to like describe the 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 cover art or whatever, it's just like a um um like a like a a, a, a kid in a group kind of talking, and then like a shadow, and that shadow is like a has an S symbol inside of it. Okay. And this, this is the part of the show. Um, wait. This is the part of the show where we, you know, we go into our pitches. We give sort of like a, a general idea we have for this. We talked about our problems with super, Superman. And this is our opportunity to either correct or, you know, branch off uh, some of the ideas that we came, we came up with. Um, and, you know, well, it, it may, our ideas may not be, you know, perfect. It may not be fully fleshed out. And then we'll just try to, like... Um, give feedback on each other's ideas and see if we can come to an ending or just uh, see if there are any way things we could we liked about it things we we didn't we thought could be more interesting um, yeah and hopefully we'll come out of it with a, a better idea in the end yeah yeah you know you know we're all having fun we're just having our fun time just making up stories and having fun don't at me <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, so my idea uh, first is called Superman. Uh, the sun also rises, and my my thesis about this, and I've talked about this before. Uh, I talked about this yesterday with you, is that I don't think that Superman could survive in Gotham. Mm. I think that Metropolis is it's like it's kind of Superman's handicap. Like if, if Metropolis doesn't force Superman to deal with any really hard, any hard hitting uh, moral dilemmas or any conflicts. Like it is, it is in the name. It is this perfect ideal place where the society runs perfectly. And um, there is no, there is no sort of corruption or that's the idea. There's no sort of corruption. And, and the only enemies are really like Lex Luthor and like, any sort of like and just aliens from space that want to disrupt uh their perfect little city it's basically he, he's in krypton kind of this is like his it, it's weird because you have this all-powerful being that is stuck inside this city that is almost like um I don't know. I'm trying to think. It's like he's in the world of like Super Monkey Ball, and then outside of the world of Super Monkey Ball is like uh, Ninja Gaiden <laughs> and Dark Souls. Because yeah. if if you go to Batman, like uh, if you go to Gotham, like the world is like very very different. You have like all these like really uh, twisted, psychotic characters like the Joker and like characters that have these really difficult moral dilemmas like mr yeah. freeze or just um or characters that, that work on fear like like scarecrow i don't even think that superman um if faced with a character that is is smart and that's smart enough and, and dark i don't think he um would be able to operate that well yeah and and, and with it most of the villains in Gotham. yeah like the most most of the villains in Gotham. um i don't know it's a common thing that batman has one of the best like rogue galleries of villains or whatever um, but yeah, most of his things like normie, like are very like, uh, exploitative, um, in nature, uh, like they normally exploit a certain thing or like the, the, the character itself has like some type of backstory that's like super interesting, like, uh, or kind of moral in a way, like, like, like poison ivy is a, an example of this, uh, crazy psychopath. Right. But she, her, her ideas of like keeping the environment is not like, like an uncommon, like, uh, like a, it's not an uncommon feeling where like you know we are kind of destroying the earth right and we should do better to like not do that i'm not going to her extent where she's like literally letting plants eat people and stuff like that but you know um that like moral stance or whatever is it's, i think it's like super like somewhat relatable i'm not saying people want to be poison ivy or whatever well some people do want to be poison ivy but you know i'm trying to get at a lot of the characters have like a backstory that is not just like I'm evil. I'm up from space and I'm evil and I'm here to, to take stuff, right? Uh, a lot of it's like, I literally died and became a zombie. Let me. Yeah, you hit that perfectly. <laughs> like, a lot of the characters are, are victims of, of their own society. Like, Gotham itself is, is as much a character as, like, Batman and the villains 
in that mm-hmm. world. Like all, most of these villains are a product of of Gotham and its and its structure in a lot of ways. You have Penguin, who is like a corrupt. He is a, a corrupt, like rich capitalist. You have Harvey like, Dent. Um, Harvey Dent, who's a, a a he is a product of a corrupt justice system. You have Joker, who is all who's a product of a poor um of like our society's poor um mental health practices back especially back in the day probably about the time it started like that wasn't that about like the era of um like psycho um yeah i I believe so well like you know gotham um like you know gotham asylum is supposed to be like for most of the comics i understand it's like supposed to be like a psych ward um and like i don't joker's a little bit weird because like you know no one really knows his origin and it's really hard down but like a lot of them do like rely on the fact like like this dude had some type of problem before he even got into like becoming super crazy yeah like either way like like is he a part of the you you can't skip that part of it is like uh has to do with the failed institution like who knows if somebody maybe maybe joker is just like destined to be evil maybe he was he's just born mm-hmm. different but who's to say if somebody found whoever like this character the joker is like as, as a younger like as a younger person and was able to get him through the right programs like maybe he wouldn't have turned out that yeah, way. Like, yeah, I think, I, like, I think I said this before, I think, uh, um, in our phone discussion before, but, like, I think a lot of, like, uh, Batman and, uh, um, uh, his stories and arcs and his villains deal with, like, some type of corruption, right? Like, corruption of morals, corruption of, like, the system, right? Like, some type of, like, hey, like, these people's actions or, like, um, this bad thing, um, that, that was kind of, like, not right, really had like ripples effect and now i am this person now um you can make that argument from like batman to all the way down to like uh like to his worst villains like uh like like joker right like it's like like you're saying again like gotham gotham is a character and gotham is like a very very brutal harsh place that is also kind of super corrupt yeah but you know batman doesn't live there so (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and so these are kind of the two problems i'm trying to solve like one metropolis is super handicapped um or not super is it what is the what is the word it's like it's not handicapped it's like an over over not overpowered it's what? metropolis is like su- it's super uh like um um it's, i'm gonna i try to say clean um like it's like super uh paradid- par- paradisical like all the I feel like a lot of the crises that happen at Metropolis are very external, like literally aliens coming down and start to square up with, with Superman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. One is, yeah. One is Metropolis is, uh, I'm just say it's super, I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll make that into a word. It's super parad, paradisical, <laughs> paradidical, paralytical, <laughs> par- <laughs> Parap- so, paralytical. If, if, if there's anyone in the comments that knows a word that fits here, please put it in there. Put put it somewhere so we can know it. <laughs> Maybe that should be the title for the episodes. <laughs> Metropolis is super par- paradidical. <laughs> and my, my other problem is that Superman's villains suck. Mm. So the way I, I can fi- fix that is I was trying to like figure out the best way to fix you know Superman's problems and then like I mentioned on Superman's problems, Superman's villains and Metropolis um at the same time and I thought like hey maybe I could bring a care like a villain over from Gotham to like Metropolis to sort of show how you know imperfect things are but I didn't want to make I didn't want that to be like a, a crossover sort of thing um even though my it did turn into a crossover but I sort of re- made some of the characters. I basically, this is what I did. I basically took the entire plot from Dark Knight Rises <laughs> and I changed it to, to Super <laughs> Five for Superman. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because it kind of works better for Superman. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what I noticed, um, and at least in my version of Superman, he is, like, not omnipresent. He is really strong and really fast. He has all those powers. But, like, he, can one, can be outsmarted. Two, he can't be in the same place at once. And three, he has like this really small town thinking. Like he is from like this this small town somewhere in Kansas. He he has like this idea that is very like he is pro the existing order. Whatever the existing order is, he is for it. Whether this is Superman, 
um, in America and Metropolis, or this is like Superman, Red Sun. He is whatever society that he grows up in. He is for maintaining that society. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is willing to overlook things um, and have this like idealistic view based on like just the way that he is you he is typically raised in in the versions of Superman that he grows up in. Um, okay. So this, this is kind of the idea of like that starts out with we have like Superman. He's a little bit older. He's in his like early forties, and Metropolis is this like really shiny city. It's kind of known for being like, you know, this is this is a paradise, but it has like this really poor like work life balance. Like people put a lot to live in there. It's it's like kind of like New York. You have to put a lot of hours just to like survive. Um, you know, you have like gentrification going on. You have all these poor districts, um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of social unrest historically in Metropolis that is kind of sta- is kind of overlooked in a lot of ways. And by this time, Lex Luthor is gone. There is no um, no one to really challenge Metropolis other than outside mm-hmm. threats. And the, what happens, the reason why Lex Luthor is gone is kind of the reason why this, this new character spots up. So it's we're, we're kind of in the, we're in the common era right now. This is like around like 20, let's just say like anywhere between like 2015, 2019 or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like, we're seeing a lot of, like, we're hearing a lot of news about, like, political unrest in, in the city. There's a lot um, of talks about these sort of figures moving around. They're hearing voices un- in, underneath the sewers. And there's there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot going on in the city's underbelly. And this is where we're, so we're introduced to this character. His name's Alistair Smith. How I have it is, like, he's, like, this, this ex-community activist turned domestic terrorist. And he is really really smart and he's he's a community organizer he is able to okay it's my need to cut this this i I wanted to explain this other part um one of the one of the weaknesses i think that superman has is that or one of the weaknesses i think that lex Luthor had that made him susceptible to losing against superman is that he is only it's usually only him he is only kind of for himself and he's not really willing to team up with people Hmm. I think that if you have multiple villains or like multiple people thinking, I think Superman's not that smart and he could be taken advantage of because he is not that smart. I, if you can, if you were able to play the game, like a, a chess game and you're able to cooperate, I think the thing, the ideas about Superman is like, Hey, humanity can uh, aspire to be something greater is kind of tested more when you have more people working together to overthrow Superman. Yeah. This, 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 version is basically like um i don't know it's basically like these people this small group of people attempting like deicide yeah well, that is that is very interesting because like i think that makes a lot of sense um because uh from what i know about lex luther at least like the comments i read in like the the shows i've watched of lex luther like that's just, like one of his main character like um traits is like he's a super narcissist right like one of the other reasons that like he doesn't like Superman is that he feels like he's the best and he feels like Superman is the only thing in the way of that. Like that's the he's the only living proof that is like saying like why he's not like the most like special human in the world. And that doesn't lead to like, you know, very uh team working um uh, sensibilities. It leads to him trying to boss everyone around. Yeah, Alistair Smith, like he's this character he's an ex community activist who becomes like disillusioned with society and metropolis he starts taking like becoming a community activist he organizes a lot of people and um this this happens during the 90s there is like this huge there is this huge riot in 1999 it's just kind of known as the riot in 1999 that happens in like these poor the the poor um sections of of metropolis the like the there's like there's like a riot response to it, and there's like uh, cops coming out in riot gear and stuff, and like they're 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 telling the protesters like you know to to die down. Superman kind of becomes comes invo- involved. He's like, hey guys, um, I'm I'm not for like the riots or whatever. You guys need to tone it down. The the rioters are like, hey no, you guys like Metropolis has real problems that we d- we need to correct. 
Superbad's like, I, I, I understand that, but we got to do it the right way. We got to organize. We got to vote. <laughs> and the writers are like, nah, man. We just we got to we got to throw these bottles at, at these buildings, bro. Where, bro? Uh, I think these probably these bottles are a lot more satisfying. <laughs> and Superman kind of like kind of takes a stance, but he, he's sort of mostly just watching and trying to like dissuade people. the The cops get out their riot gear and they have like this specific sort of. Uh, so, so I'll back up. There, there is, there is, there is a deal with Lex Luthor or Lex Corps and the police where they Lex Corps is providing a riot gear and and um military grade weapons to to the cops and they they fire this particular this kind of like toxic gas into the into the crowd um what they don't know is that this toxic gas is laced with a small amount of like kryptonite it causes like a mutation in in the rioters and they 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 turn into like these aggressive um mutated like zombie like things mm-hmm. And they start, they, they start, they start, um, sorry, they start wrecking the city. Superman is kind of put in this place where, like, uh, man, I really have to, like, deal with this problem. So he pretty much murders all the, like, infected rioters. And this becomes, like, a really infamous event in the history of Metropolis. It is kind of, it, but it's not, it's not played off like it's Superman's fault. The, the cops take over and they, they, you know, shift the blame onto onto Lex Corps. They said like, oh, you know, Superman just did what he had to do to to like, you know, save everyone, the rest of the people of Metropolis from these like rioters, and you know, these rioters are unfortunately victims too. Um, but they kind of like try to like say it's like you know they're just misled. Um, like this is all Lex Luthor's fault. So they they take Lex Luthor and they lock him up. Yeah, go be mad um, at that. Lex ball, is like, man. yo. But Lex is like, yo, I I have like. I did not know that they had kryptonite in here. I didn't. I didn't put the kryptonite in, in this. Um, in in those those gas. Um, I didn't lace the gas with that with kryptonite. That has absolutely nothing to do with me. Um, and he he has he has more to say, but he in in his like press release before he's arrested, but it's quickly cut off, and the cops come and they are, they arrest him and they lock him up. So this is so. Um, Al- uh, Alistair Smith is one of those people who was in this riot, but as a kid, and he sees it happen, but he, like, manages to escape the gas before, you know, watching his parents and, like, the people that he cares, like, uh, his friends and family, like, get annihilated by Superman. So he, he, throw- he creates this entire, like, secret ring of, um, of, like, organizers who are who have plotted for years to take down uh, Superman. Uh, and they've managed to get themselves, like, this is years later, they managed to get a form of this uh, sort of, like, kryptonite pathogen that they're able to, like, put, that they're able to, like, inhale or um, inject that uh, that pretty much makes them Superman-proof. Hmm. Like, it's, it's not, like, necessarily like that it's enough to kill Superman, but, like, because if they had enough to kill Superman, they would probably die themselves. But they have synthesized it to the amount where they can prevent Superman from having, like they can block most of his powers. Okay. okay. Like they bring him down to like, instead of like, he's still like strong, but he's way more susceptible to like be overpowered by groups. So they kind of turn into like, um, the chi blockers from, from (laughs) Avatar. All right. Okay, cool. So like, (laughs) so I'm guessing like, he's like, He's still like he probably like down the grades from like Luke Hang like not Luke Hang he ground he downgrades to uh, st- he downgrades from Superman strong to like uh like maybe like uh like what's a low level superhero like a uh, like Power Man yeah. uh I, I I'd say more like he he becomes he's almost like Batman okay though. okay oh that's the big nerd <laughs> <laughs> super- well Batman is still pretty strong yeah Batman's super strong but Batman just all- knows how to fight. <laughs> Yeah, Superman's just strong. I mean, that's how he wins. Yeah, but you know they're able to overpower him, and um, there, there's like, there, it's pretty much like a, ch- a whole chess game through the through the story. I haven't like plotted out most of that, but it, how it ends up is like, um, they are able to set up all these bombs throughout the city. They they cut off all exit routes from, like, separating from Metropolis to like any of the other um, cities. And they like they detonate detonate the yeah they detonate the bridges they like pretty much just overthrow the entire um, institution 
they set up these like um, mock courts to try people that, that they believe are corrupted. Um, and kind of what I what I took from 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 Dark Knight Rises, they they managed to get a hold of of, of a nuke, and they're like, hey, yo, if you if Superman tries to interfere in this. I don't care how fast he is. Like this, someone's gonna detonate this bomb. And it's gonna blow up, and everyone in, in Metropolis is going to die. Superman gets like called to the the Justice League, and he's like, "Hey, dudes, I, I know this is a tough situation. I know what this looks like, dudes. But I promise, I can solve this. How how do you plan on solving this, Clark?" Batman asked. "I'm just gonna fly down there really fast, and I'm gonna throw the nuke into space." <laughs> and, and, and Batman's like, "I I I, have, I know this character. I've done like a decent." background about this guy and he is like it just looks superman is dead in his eyes he is way smarter than you you will die like like you will risk everyone's life if you try to interfere uh sorry i'm, I'm trying to trying to pick up what, what i was gonna say um so, you know that superman and batman go back and forth and he's like he basically gets down to it he's like clark um you like to think that you're invincible but i for sure, like, we'll let you know that at any moment in the last 10 years of, uh, last, like, 20 years of us knowing each other, I could have killed you at any moment. Because you are, you're just, you, you are, like, way too, um, proud of your strength or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and so the whole Justice League votes, like, hey, Superman, you can, we ban you from, from intervening. We will try to figure this out the right way, like, using strategy and things like that. And like you, Wonder Woman's you know just usually like like it's kind of on his side, but kind of not. And Superman is just like, nah, you know, screw this. I'm leaving the Justice League. So he's, ooh, that is interesting. Kind of gives up, and gradually th throughout the story, it, it becomes more so he ha he's forced to question like his his beliefs about like the institutions that he that he grows up in, and he he does he does end up trying to stop the the nuke, but he gets like jumped like he like and, and t he gets jumped into like a, a a batman like bane breaks your back sort of level their man they manage to overpower him they they pretty much send him to the jail where like lex luther is they lock him up with lex luther in like this kryptonite cell that lex luther had already built for for superman he was like hey I know you sent me to jail, but I have this ch this I built this jail right here next to you for when you get locked up too. And I know it's gonna happen. Hmm. So he's he's locked up with Lex Luthor, where he learns that like, yeah, I was I was right, dude. I had nothing to do with this. Um, the um the like the kryptonite in the riot in ninety nine. I got that gas chem compound from Wayne Tech. Hmm. Wayne Tech gave me that that um. Gave me all, uh, gave me that gas. <laughs> wait, 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 text me dealing some good gas, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. Wayne Tech gave me that, gave me that good deal on that gas. <laughs> when you, uh, when you, uh, 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 talked about like, um, Superman getting jumped, I immediately thought of the fight back meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he, they gave me that con compound and, uh, they synthesized it for me. I just created the, the, distribution i just created the guns to to launch that the material um and superman's like yo why why would you do that like well for starters i don't know if you know this but wait like bruce wayne has been planning for a, a long time on how to take you down like a, a long time i i've been kind of just keeping up tabs with it just you know just in case i don't want to use his ideas because you know i'm lex luther and i like I, I would i it wouldn't work for me to, to take someone else's <laughs> ideas in order to kill you I have to. I have to come up with this myself. <laughs> yeah, man. I. But he's been working on this since day one. You know, I'm not saying Batman's a smart, but he's pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super. It's like, why would he do that? Like, and the, the, like Luther looks at me. He's like, like, why would he not? Like, I always tell you this. Like, you are the biggest threat to humanity. Like, any, it, you are. You're good right now because you live in like this. This you live in Metropolis, and you we and the cops and everyone have. Have tr have tried to make the city appear um, as this idealistic paradise to you, but the second you believe that you need to intervene in order to make people safe, you are now the threat. You are now the villain, Clark. And so there's a whole thing where he like starts questioning them, like questioning his like own morals and values or whatever. And in the end, like Superman and Lex have to work together to get out get out of the um, the prison, and they end up deactivating the nukes. 
um and then that's pretty much the end uh i guess my um my immediate initial question like how how involved was bruce like is 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 this like leading into like if this had like i'm guessing like this first run would the second run be like uh this conflict between batman and superman will it just be a justice <laughs> i'm just joking <laughs> I, I guess this is re like reverse injustice kind mm. of like um i don't know to the extent of that i would make batman involved how, how i would have been like it was just like hey this was kind of an accident like not like a, like he did make these chemicals or whatever he did synthesize these chemicals oh yeah by the way i forgot to say that like this that these chemicals also create static shock this, this was the, the 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 chemical thing was the big was the big yeah, bang well, well, yeah well, which caught no as well when, when, when you started talking about it, i was like oh i think i see we're referencing the <laughs> the new static shock i see <laughs> which is uh if you if you if someone's listening to this go watch the uh, go read go pick up go buy uh, the new static shock it's, it's really dope yeah i just bought issue issue three the other day it's pretty good um, man, well yeah it's pretty dope um i we're gonna have another discussion about that gonna have that uh manga comic book discussion soon and art styles um but sorry uh back yeah. to the point oh yeah but yeah uh yeah that that, that yeah as soon as you, you saw it, i was like oh i see i see you referencing that <laughs> uh um but sorry continue what you were saying yeah i don't i don't know if i'd like actually put static shock in the in the in the show i think it would complicate it too much but i i think there would be some sort of like confrontation about batman but it would be surely purely like ideological mm. It would just be about like, hey, like I kind of did, like, like where I where I come from, our government is corrupt and our p cops are corrupt and your cops are kind of no different. I was just doing what I could to like intervene in case this was an issue. Mm -hmm. Um, like the the villain is still like is still gonna be like um the Alistair like character, but there is sort of like a um. I don't know. I think there might be, there would be kind of a fight, but I don't think, I don't, I can't imagine it would be a too big of one or not. Maybe it could be like another thing of like, cause we, we know we, we, we just, when we were saying earlier, it's like, you know, uh, a lot of Batman kind of deals with corruption and like, you know, um, like external, like a lot of Batman deals with like just the uh, pressures of Gotham. And, um, I think like a good pressure that you can just be like, it's like, you know, when people want deadlines, they're willing to really push people, um, in like very like not right ways so it could be easy to just be like lex corp was putting pressure on bruce wayne bruce wayne putting pressure on these scientists to like make this gas and you know corners got cut and then like you know people were paid off to look the other way you know when there was like no concerns it's like it's classically like you know when like uh something like new like uh like a new like deodorant or whatever comes out and then you figure out like later on it's like it has all this bad stuff and in like it's kind of caused by like uh people just neglecting to do their job or looking the other way um and this i think that's what mm -hmm. i think this would be like a very interesting thing to like be like hey bat <laughs> i was gonna say hey, bat hey superman like this shit happens like like there's no real way to like stop this the only way you could stop this is control everyone and you're definitely not smart enough to do that <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> right and it's like it's like hey maybe i'm at fault for like putting pressures for people to like to do this thing but i didn't like condone them from like making this chemical dangerous or anything they just promised me a deadline they couldn't do it and then when i put pressure on them they did everything they could to lie to make sure they like uh they, they made it and that led into this like horrible accident part of the i the the thing i wanted to go off of like and that would i think towards the end would like be the main point of and why i make the alistair um character like so important is that kind of like the the um alistair and his group are they are the antagonists to superman but they are kind of the people that prove that superman is right mm. about people and humanity they eventually end up like do they are able to to reach the level that superman is precisely because they're they work together they, they are the synthesis of lex luther and superman's ideas mm. Oh, that's just, like so. They're like they're combinations of both of their ideals. Um, mm -hmm. Just just used against them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I guess my other like uh, question I have. Um, yeah, I think the, the the story is super solid in my opinion. I, I really like it. Um, I don't think there's much to to like. I can't think of much that I would do different. Like, yeah, there's always like details that would need to be flushed out and all that other stuff but like I, I i genuinely like this idea i think it's a really i think this is actually an interesting um superman 
I would, I would also be interested on in like kind of the backstories, like the other key players um around his name's Alistar, um, yeah. or like the other key players around Alistar, like what paths did they take to uh to like help Alistar out, right? So uh, like since these guys, I'm guessing like these all guys have like were in the similar um like uh um big bang moment or whatever or they were like affected by it a lot and i wonder like how they like changed their career to uh to like prepare for this moment so like maybe someone went really deep into like politics and like has like a force behind them like kind of like uh how like i don't want to say like gotch gotti or whatever but like you know how like like they just had a group of people that were like kind of willing to do anything for this person like i'll, I'll just be interesting on like like for a lack of a better term alistar is like uh justice league right like these people like what did they what did they like um invest their time in to make this like lethal combination that is like terrible for superman if that makes sense yeah alistair's character he is very much like a general he is he is batman with no money i th- i think that's a that's a good part about it is a good way to describe him he is batman with no money um a cause and profoundly less violent. <laughs> Much like Lex Luthor, he's not the ki- type of character that would, like, try to openly fight somebody. Okay. And, like, you know, people would say, like, oh, that makes you a coward, but he's, he's more like, I'm just smarter than you guys. Why would I, <laughs> like, why would I, why would I use, why would it, I, why would I use my worst skill? It also makes me the victor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that kind of leads into the other question I was going to ask about, like, you said Batman, but um, no thing. I was gonna ask him if he was trained or anything, or if he has any martial arts or anything like that. But like, I, I think I like that idea where he's just kind of just a, a good organizer, like a good generator. Maybe he has some skills that are like more physically based, but it's not like his thing. His thing is like, I will make this this reckoning happening happen. Um, and the only way you're gonna stop me is by uh, you know, <laughs> stopping me, and that pretty much kind of proves this point in a way i guess like I was, I was thinking about making um making alistair come from um a like boys and girls school sort of program that was like funded by wayne mm. tech oh that, i would love that i think that deepens the connection more i like it i like it a lot yeah <laughs> it's like like he, like you know they they um i don't know I, I imagine like wayne would like teach one of the classes he would he would encourage them to offer is like he like he can kind of do martial arts like you know he he is taught like i know i said he he doesn't fight but he still has like a, a fundamental understanding of like wayne yeah he has yeah. like he still has like, like a knowledge of like applying violence and like uh yeah and stuff like that we have it's like a conversation that we have a lot like yeah like he he yeah he understands violence enough where it's like he knows like you know it's dangerous for both both sides and like you know there's very there's very specific ways you can apply it um and like, if you're gonna apply it, there's every time you apply violence, there's a risk associated with it. Um, and like, understanding of that makes him a little bit more dangerous than the average person, in my opinion. Um, because you you're you're not uh, it's it's less emotional and more calculated. Um, but <laughs> I, I just think it, like uh, I I kind of think these uh this is actually works into Batman too, because like you could actually just be like, you know, Batman was doing this these these boys and girls clubs and stuff like that. But it was also like another secret way for him to find more Robins. Whoa, <laughs> yo, that would be really interesting. Right, like <laughs> this is like this is like uh, these these systems is kind of the way he really found like uh, Dick Grayson and all those other guys. Um, like a lot of the Robins had at some point has landed into these like boys and girls clubs, and they're not just like yes, they teach these kids skills, but it's way more of an ap- aptitude test um, for like for Batman to find people that are like very like moldable and like um can like fit his ideals and shit like that. If, if, what if like if like Batman Beyond was like planned out kind of if that made sense. Yeah. I'd make it canon also that he that um Alistair once fought and beat Jason Todd before he was like Robin. Ooh, that is awesome. That, that Jason Todd was also in one of those programs. <laughs> yes. I want to see this. <laughs> Oh man! So he does turn. He eventually, inevitably does turn to like not only be a, a combination of like Lex, Lex and Superman, but also like the the thing that corrupts him is is a kind of Batman's uh, philosophies. 
Which is like, kind of kind of something bad, man. <laughs> you just like, like everything's cool because I'm doing it. Breaking people's legs, I mean, it's only cool because I'm doing it. <laughs>